Hello everyone, I am Vasanta, Department of Computer Science, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Today we want to start with a new chapter, call it as Boolean Algebra. The total weightage of this chapter is totally 9 marks. 9 marks on your annual exam. Out of 9 marks, 2 marks, 2 questions they will ask as well as 1 marks, 1 question they will ask. 2 marks, 2 question that is on part B, 2 question they will ask. Each question carries 2 to marks and on part D, 1 question they will ask that is only 1 marks. That is only for 5 marks they will ask. Only 1 question, 5 marks. Before starting this chapter, you have to know what exactly the content of this chapter. On this chapter, you will study all the logical operators, truth tables, symbols, mean term, max term, as well as all the postulates. How to prove the postulates regarding that, you come to know on this chapter. Whereas the, this chapter, already you come to know the total weightage of this chapter is 9 marks. Is it no? 9 marks, 2 marks, 2 question, as well as 5 marks, 1 question. But on this chapter, it is mainly designed to circuit the logics. It is mainly used to design logic circuits. We are using this Boolean algebra. And it is developed by George Bull. It is developed by George Bull in the year 1854. In the year 1854, they developed this Boolean concept. And this Boolean algebra is also called it as switching technique. This can also be called it as switching technique. And in this, we are using mainly binary numbers. But when they come on number system, there are several types of number system like binary number, octal number, hexadecimal number, like that we have several types. But this Boolean algebra mainly deals with binary numbers only, that is zeros and ones. And here, we are able to perform main term, max term, k map, especially kernel map, then truth table, symbols, all these things you will study. And on this chapter, they will going to ask two questions, two marks, is it? No, one time they ask, what do you mean by tautology as well as fallacy? Then what do you mean by tautology? The result of an expression, if it is always true, then it can be called as tautology. For example, consider a truth table. On this true table, we have variable a and b. For example, the output become a plus b, 2, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0 plus 0, output become 0. 0 plus 1, output become 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, 1. The result of an expression, if it is always true, then it can be called as tautology. Tautology means the result of an expression if it is always true. True you can say otherwise one then also it is called as tautology. When the result of an expression if it is always false or zero then it can be called as fallacy. Whereas one year they ask this question what do you mean by tautology as well as fallacy. Tautology is nothing but the result of an expression if it is always true then it can be called as tautology, the result of an expression, if it is always false, then it can be called as fallacy. Then on this chapter, you have to remember who developed this, on which year, what do you mean by tautology, fallacy, mainly deals with binary numbers. But when they come on number system, binary number, octal number, hexadecimal number, as well as decimal number. But here, Boolean algebra mainly deals with only binary numbers. Binary numbers means 0 and 1. Now, I am going to explain which are the logical operators we have and how to write the Venn diagram as well as true table regarding that I am going to explain you. When you come on logical operator, logical operators, there are three types. The first one is and and the second one is or and the third one is not. There are three logical operators and or not. For and in the previous class itself, that is on logic gates chapter I told you. What is the symbol? A symbol we are using to represent dot operator. For or we are representing 
प्लस ऑपरेटर फॉर नॉट वी आर यूजिंग नेगेशन और इन्वर्टर ऑपरेटर दिस नॉट गेट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज इन्वर्टर गेट ऑल्सो नाउ फॉर एंड हाउ टू राइट द सिंबल ट्रू टेबल वॉट आर द पॉसिबल आउटपुट वी विल गेट देन वी वू टू एक्सप्लेन द वेन डायग्राम नाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट एंड वी आर यूजिंग मैक्सिमम more than two inputs we can use minimum also two inputs were required for example a and b is the input variable here to represent that we are using d shape and the output is a dot b we used to write this is the symbol now which are the possible values we will get see for example here 0 dot 1 then what is the output in between your dot operator then the output become zero here whereas in and operation if all the inputs are one then only the output become one otherwise it is zero now for example zero dot zero then also the output become zero possible alternative values we will get then one dot one one dot one and one more is 1.0 1.1 here all the inputs are one then only the output become one here all the inputs are not one or if you want if you have any confusion then you can write two zeros to one zero one zero one like that also you can write zero one zero one now here zero in one into zero the output become Zero here. One into one, the output become one. When all the inputs are one, then only the output become one in and operation. These are the possible alternative values we will get. And how to write the truth table for this one? In the same pattern. Minimum two inputs A and B. Here output represents A dot B. This is the truth table, and this is the all possible result alternative values we will get. Here two zeros and two one. Zero one zero one. Now zero into zero, the output become zero here. Zero into one, output become zero because in and operation, if all the inputs are true, then only the output become true. Otherwise, it is false. One into zero, the output become zero here. One into one, all the inputs are true, then only the output become true. This is the truth table. This is the symbol. This is the alternative values here we will get. This is regarding and operation. Now, how to write the Venn diagram? That is consider minimum two inputs be required. Consider this is A and this represents B. A and the second circle represents B. And means this and this we used to say part A as well as part B both has to be satisfied. Only the place where both part is combined. Only that part you have to shade. That is the Venn diagram. Venn diagram for and operation. In Venn diagram, to minimum two inputs. If you want more than two, also you can consider. But where the place both are connected, that place you have to shade in and. But when you come on or here, minimum two inputs be required. For example, A and B. And here to represent the symbol reverse C shape. Then connect this. Then the output become A plus B. Whereas here D shape we use right, but the output is A dot B. Whereas here A plus B. Then what are the alternative values we'll get? For example, zero plus zero. What is the output here? The output becomes zero because here the output in especially in OR operator, if any one of the input is true, the output becomes true. Whereas see. Both the inputs are false. That's why the output becomes false here. For example, zero plus one. Here, one input is true. That's why the output becomes true here. Then one plus zero. This part one is one, and the second one is zero. That's why the output becomes one. Because if any one of the input is true, then the output becomes is true. Then one plus one. Here, the output becomes one. This is the alternative values we will get here. Then, how to write the truth table for this one? Consider two variables a and b. The output become a plus b. Two zeros, two one. Zero one, zero one. See, 
first part is also 0, second part is also 0, then the output becomes 0 here. Because if any one of the input is true, then only the output becomes true, otherwise it is false. 0 plus 1, here we have 1, 1 true value, then output is 1. Here also 1 plus 0, then output becomes 1. Here 1 plus 1, the output becomes 1 here. If any one of the input is true, then the output becomes true. This is the truth table. This is the alternative possible values in our operation we will get. Then how to write the Venn diagram for this one? Already I told you, whereas in this case we are talk two inputs. That's why I am going to take two part. One is part A and one more is part B. This is A and this is B. Then here or we are used or and the kind of the letter the idu athava and the healthy and and the hell idu matto and the healthy whereas or and the waga ye athava b and the hell put that's why we have to share a part as well as b part also both the part we have to share here this is a venn diagram venn diagram for the given and operate or operation see Symbol, alternative possible values, true table and this is a Venn diagram. In uh, two years back there was a question, write the Venn diagram for AND operation as well as for OR operation. Then if you write the symbol, then you will get full marks. See, compulsory you have to share both the part, part A as well as part B to represent OR especially Venn diagram. Next one. How to represent NOT gate or inverter gate? Already I told you for inverter gate, maximum itself only one input it will take. For example, A. Then to represent the symbol, first you have to write one triangle, at the end one circle and then one line. This is a representation of NOT gate. And the output represent A bar. Output represents A bar. Now, how to write the truth table as well as alternative values? For example, 1 is the input, then what is the output? Negation of that, negation of that is equals to 0. If 0 is the input, negation of that it becomes 1. These are the possible alternative values. Then how to write the truth table for this one? For example, already I told you maximum itself only one input it will take. Then if A is the input, A bar becomes the output. Then 0, 1. If input is false, output becomes true. If input is true, output becomes false. Alternative of input operation. Now here if it is 0, the output becomes 1. If the input is 1, then output becomes 0 here. Reverse of input value will get in the output. That is the truth table. This is alternative value and this is the truth table. Then how to write the Venn diagram? See here. Here I told you maximum will be only one input. That's why I am to take only one circle. This represents for example A. Then A bar. See only the inner part here to shade. There is a Venn diagram. If you want you can write in another way also. One circle. If this represents A and this represents A bar. Now we have to shade only the outer part. If you want. You can write like this way also. This represents the Venn diagram. Venn diagram for not operation. Now once again I am to recall. Whereas this Boolean algebra chapter weightage is 9 marks. In part P 2 question. Each question carries 2 to marks. And in part D 1 question 5 marks. It is also called as switching, te switching technique. And it mainly deals with binary number and it is developed by George Bull in the year 1854. In this, we have true tables, circuits, min term, max term, as well as we have symbols, kernel map, all these things you will study when you come on operators, three types of operators, and or not. In and, we have the symbol, D shaped symbol, minimum two inputs it will take and this is the alternative values and this is a truth table and this represents the Venn diagram. Symbol for two variables, alternative values, truth table and Venn diagram. But here compulsory in OR you have to shade both the circles. Whereas in AND operation only the place where both A and B are combined only that part you have to shade. 
but when the come on not operator the another name for not operator is inverter gate or we can use negation gate also we can see here if whatever may be the input the reverse of that will be the output a nega one negation is nothing but zero zero negation is nothing but one this is a truth table this is the alternative value truth table when you are writing the venn diagram compulsory you have to represent only one input that is for example a or if you want you can take x also if you want you can shade inner part or only the outer part you can shade this is a venn diagram in the next session we will going to continue the remaining concept thank you for all of you